welcome back to iastack in today's tutorial we are going to take a close look at how to add layer directive in tailwind css this is simple yet powerful tool can enhance your styling process and bring more structure to your code whether you are a beginner or have some experience with tailwind css this guide is designed for you so let's get started so we will start from creating a new empty project and then we will set up and install the Tailwind CSS in that project. So open your terminal. You can use your existing project as well. It's up to you. So here I am going to create a folder. All right, the project folder has been created and opened in my VS code editor. After that, I will create a new folder here. Source in that source directory, I will add a file index.html. And also I need another file that would be index uh, input dot CSS. All right. Now open your terminal and also open the documentation for Tailwind CSS. So on the first tab tail with the Tailwind CSI, we will just copy this command and in your terminal, paste uh, these two commands and press enter. So it will install this and it will initialize the Tailwind CSS with the help of this command. Once it is installed and in, and initialized, it will create a node modules folder. It will add a package.json and also it will add the tailwind.config.js file. So in the package.json file, there is nothing but just tailwind CSS so far. After that, uh, you just have to copy paste this tailwind configuration. Basically, you need to add this thing depending on the path. So if you are also using the source directories, then make sure to use the same setting but if you have different setup then you can uh, adjust this path by yourself so copy it and replace this code and now you have to copy this code so basically it will add the tailwind directives for each of tailwind's layers to your main css file so open the input css paste it now you need to copy this code as well. So as I don't have anything in my HTML, so I will just use uh, this as it is. Uh, but if you already have an HTML file, you can just uh, just add the link for the style only. So I will just copy paste here. All right. Now I will run my index.html in the browser. So so this is how it is looking like right now now i will add some custom styles uh, here so for example i want to add red Or uh, if you want to change the color of text red it is not working the reason is that we did not start the server for the tailwind CSS so you have to uh, copy this command this will start the tailwind CLI build process this will run the CLI tool to scan your template files for the classes and build your CSS so open the terminal and paste it here so now you can see that a new folder has been appeared that is dist in the dist directory it has the output.css file that was generated you can open it open it and you can see that all of the files are visible here that are added with the help of tailwind css and now let's test it you can see that now tailwind css styles are working correctly now it's time to create the layer directory 
I, now it's time to use the layer directive so for that open the input.css file and here this is how you will define the layer directive just type the layer and components and here you can just add the class that you want to implement so i want to implement the button class and here i will add some styles for example to apply the apps classes of the tailwind css on this class you need to use the apply directive as well so here i am going to use uh, bg Five hundred, and there should be horizontal padding that would be maybe five, and py should be three, and it should be rounded, and text should be white. So let's add this class to any button. So here I will create a button, and I will give the class button to it. And now let's see. You can see that. I just defined a new component by using the layer and now I am able to use this class in my HTML. So if we are, if we don't use component, then you would have to, uh, you, you would have to add all of these classes here manually and this would uh, make your code uh, ugly and it will make it too complex. So for example, also you cannot uh, uh, reuse the style so for example if you want to same kind of buttons multiple times this you will see the a lot of repetition in your code so if you don't want to if you want to avoid this repetition you can simply create a custom component by using layer directive and then you can <clears throat> just add the button class that you just defined okay now you can see that I am not repeating anything. I just reuse the same class and it has added the same styles that we defined in here. So that concludes our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to add layer directive in the Tailwind CSS. I hope you found this guide clear and helpful. If you would like to learn more about Tailwind CSS or have any specific questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video useful and consider subscribing for more straightforward tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.